So, hello, here we have another iron meteorite and uh, this is really what uh, space resources is kind of about because iron is, uh, the iron meteorites is what we really want because they have more than iron, they have also a lot of nickel, potentially more than 20% and they have several percent of cobalt. There is nothing on the surface of the Earth that has so much nickel, so this is why SpaceX, for example, would like to have some of this material. So, this particular one fell in 1947 in Siberia as part of a larger meteorite shower, and this has the oxide crust, the melting crust, on the surface. So, it's fixed here, and it's uh, actually designed so that people can touch it. So, you can touch a meteorite here in the museum, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm touching it, so here I'm in touch with outer space now, just for a quick second at least. And if you come a little closer, then uh, you can actually see that uh, there's a bit of a, a, um, an orientation, if you will, in there. It gives the impression that this was um, migrating with high speed through the atmosphere and it was heating up in the process and partly melting in that kind of transit from outer space into the Earth kind of uh, atmosphere. And eventually it uh, came to halt in Siberia, making large stretches of the Siberian forest into a kind of wasteland. And uh, it was a big thing back in the time. There was a series of nature papers a few years ago about this particular fall. And um, it uh, delivered several uh, tons of meteorite material. And if we were to go out into space and uh, get some of the meteorites, this material is kind of what we would be after.